I felt totally out of control with the massive gas and electricity companies. Do you ever wish that you could save money on your gas bill, your electricity bill? Uh, I'm going to show you a really good way. Be warned. <laughs> it's not one of those uh, glamping, glamorous yurts where uh, you stay in it for a week and it's more or less basically empty uh, except for a bed and a carpet and a chest of drawers. This is a yurt that's been lived in for 15 years with four people. So it's real. <laughs> <laughs> so not only is this brilliant for saving energy, I'll show you how long you need to, for example, leave rice on the cooker and then the rest of it just does in the thermal cooker. There are three components to this thermal cooker. One is the um, actual thermal bit itself. It's vacuum sealed. One is the main cook pot and the third is this other little dish. So this fits in the top. So what you can do is cook stuff directly in here, stick it in here and then just leave it. For example, if I stick, bring it to the boil, put it in there, and then I'll come and cook some lentil thing. By the time I've cooked the lentil thing, the rice is ready. Or another way you can do it is cook your curry in the bottom and then put the rice in the top and then put all of it in there. So for example, if you're going out for the day, you could do that and um, it keeps hot for like seven or eight hours. It's been a total game changer in my life. If you're enjoying this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. <laughs> Not just in terms of simplifying my cooking, but um, just in terms of the energy. I mean, let's experiment with some rice now and see what happens. I'm having to squat in a very weird position <laughs> to fit into the camera at the same time as the stove. This is my normal height. Um, I have some uh, Thai rice. Feeling a bit like Nigella here. And I'm putting in two cups of water. We also only have an outside tap, hence the bottle. Um, maybe I'll show you around there in a sec. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to light that. You can imagine some special computer graphics of time whizzing by very quickly. And I'll be back in a sec. Now I am going to time how long it takes for it to get to the boil, at which point I will put it in here. And normally it would take this rice 11 minutes worth of boiling to be cooked. So yeah, let's see how much the time is reduced by. Do you feel like you spend way too much on your gas or electricity bill? What do you do to reduce it? I would love to know different ways that you have already to reduce those mega bills in your life. Please write in the comments below so we can share ideas. Thank you. It's just about three minutes and uh, I can hear it's just coming to the boil. This is actually like the really basic version and I bought it years and years and years ago um, and used it pretty much every single day since then. I'll show you also the recipe book because you will not believe the uh, just the range of stuff that you can actually cook like this. Turn it off, Dong. put it in, Dong. voila. And now get on with other stuff, make something else. Here is their website. Uh, the guy who invented it is called Dr. D and he does a whole bunch of cookware. There's lots of different sizes. So I've got the three litre one, but this is the five litre one and this cooks for up to 10 people. Not only can you save money at home, but it's brilliant if you want to go camping and just have it going while you're off. You don't want to take a massive cooker with you when you go camping 
and this is almost like having another a ring with you. Uh, look, <laughs> they've even got a cake tin that goes with this pot. So yeah, here's the recipe book, Dr D's thermal cookbook, recipes for the eco-friendly thermal cooker. Um, and the range of what you can cook is pretty astonishing really. Soup, mains poultry, seafood, lamb, beef, pork, vegetarian, puddings, cakes, breads and scones. I guess I've sort of stuck with my main basic, probably quite boring stuff. And uh, it's actually inspiring to look through here uh, to see what else I could do. Um, Christmas pudding. I've done Christmas pudding, actually, in here. Because, you know, normally, uh, if you make like a proper Christmas pudding, you're supposed to cook it for six hours. I mean, that's a mass of gas or electricity. But um, you get it to the right temperature. You have to get all the ingredients properly hot, stick it in there, and it does it for you. Saving loads and loads and loads of energy. So good for the planet. And loads and loads and loads of your gas or electricity bill. So good for you. Good all round. Um, I thoroughly recommend this product. Um, this is my first and quite possibly only ever product review. Actually, that's not true. I have done another one about an outside sort of stove, um, which I'll link to, actually. Uh, because I don't buy a lot of things. But this has been life-changing, this cooker. So um, I wonder if the rice is ready. Let's have a look. No, probably it isn't ready just yet, actually. I'm going to wait a tiny bit more. <laughs> I just remembered that there's also this, which is a bit muddy. Uh, it's a thermal jacket, and you can put it around your pot. It's got a handle so you can actually pick up the entire pot and carry it with you. So, you know, ideal for camping or wandering around <laughs> with your cooking. Uh, while we're waiting, I'll just show you... Um, our sink and bathroom <laughs> and here is the wonderful tap I cannot tell you how brilliant it was when uh, my husband installed that uh, before that we'd been carrying water down here for some years and uh, so this is where I do all my washing up and we've got a gravel pit here which um, it's got a drain underneath it that goes actually underneath the yurt and to the garden. So the water goes to the garden. And then, so this long, longer hose pipe here is what I actually use for my morning showers. Uh, I go off and get really hot and sweaty with my dog, come back, have a freezing cold shower every single day, all year round. I know, it's pretty hardcore. But honestly, afterwards, my skin is just glowing and vibrating and... Uh, Oh, I feel so ready for the day. And tell the truth, when I have warm showers now, they actually feel a bit kind of claggy and hot and like they don't really get me clean. <laughs> Let's go and see the rice. If you're enjoying this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Hello, Wompy. <laughs> I know I could have shown you um, lots of pre-prepared veg and uh, special other dishes to show you all the other functions for the uh, thermal cooker, which in fact can also even be used as an icebox <laughs> because of the insulating qualities. Uh, but quite frankly, my uh, camera skills are not up to that sort of thing. Um, so here is a very simple version of the review. Now let's look at the rice. And to tell the truth, I'm feeling a little bit nervous because uh, I've totally lost track of time with doing this video, going inside and out, inside doing screen capture and all sorts of stuff. So I, anyway, I'm going to open it and let's see what it's like. Open it up. Whoa, nice and steamy. Yep. Oh, this does look perfect. I'm going to try it without burning my tongue. That is perfect. So just think 
Okay, just for like ease of maths, let's say it would have normally taken 12 minutes to cook the rice. And in fact, um, this took like three minutes to get to the boil. So like that's a quarter of the amount of time. So that's a quarter of the amount of gas. That's a quarter of the amount of money. I mean, and that's just on rice. I, I use this all the time. Um, I don't know what else to say. Brilliant, 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 life-changing cooker. Save the planet. Save your money. And have a, a cooker you can carry around with you and take camping. Really versatile for a million different recipes. Thoroughly recommend it. I'm going to put a link below this video. If you would like to go and purchase one, I will receive a small a very small commission um, enjoy may your life be full of the real magic of being alive see you later <laughs>